How can you do anything? I'm okay at command blocks, but you are good at Minecraft files, coding, command blocks, and more. Do you have any tips? I thought I'd actually make a full video just showing you how you can actually get good at commands, even though this is not going to fully address it because I could make a 30 minute video talking about commands. It's going to be very boring <laughs> and you probably don't want that. Is this going to be a series? I don't know. Ask Phoenix or you can drop a like on this video if you think this should be a series that I try out this year. But there are two things that I do want to tell you guys to the people who want to learn how to make commands and things like that. The first thing is this. Please forget about the commands. This is assuming that you guys know that there's a Wikipedia page full of them. So if you go over there and just read all the commands, you're not going to get any better. There are only two commands that you need to know, and if you've mastered these two commands, you can make anything in Minecraft. Look at my function file. This is a file where you can store commands, which basically run as a chain. So uh, if you have a chain command block here, this is basically a chain. This is a function, but that's in the game. This is a file. Look at what every command, apart from these two, starts with execute as, execute as, execute as. And I can scroll down. This is basically a function which runs all the valid moves in chess. Uh, this is in conjunction with my chess video that I did. I guess a lot of the comments came from that. And basically, how did you make chess? Look at every single command. It's all starting with execute. If you have a map and you don't use execute or scoreboard, which is the second command I want to talk to you guys about, then your map is probably way too simple to really comment on, or it's not that good. Let me go to this one. Tagging is similar to scoreboards. I guess I should put that in the same group. Uh, all the way at the bottom, you can see scoreboard player set. I'm not lying when I say that if you want to get good at commands, you just need to know two commands. Execute and scoreboard. And also tag. I guess tag comes with scoreboard too. Now, what do these two commands do? Let's start with scoreboard. I'm not going to make a video talking about what scoreboard does. I just want to tell you what it is and why it's so important. Essentially, what you do with scoreboards is you create an objective and you can make it anything you want. ASDF. Most of the time you do dummy, but there are also stats here. So let's say a player breaks an acacia fence in the game. You will get one point on ASDF. But I'm going to do dummy because dummy is a scoreboard objective that you can edit anytime you want and it's not affected by anything. And the player gains a score on that objective anytime you do this command. So scoreboard players set at P, ASDF. I haven't made it, that's why it didn't come up. We can just do one. And now the player has a score of one on ASDF. Now, why is this so important? Now you can combine this with execute. So for example, let's look at this command. Execute if entity at P, scores are click. You can look at this stuff on the Wikipedia page. It's also hinted in the game as well, how to put a scoreboard inside a selector. If my score for this objective, ASDF, is four, I want to run a function in the game, which is a command. This is another command, slash function. It's like slash fill, but basically this command is going to run a function if my score for this objective is four. And that's it. I'm going to display it on my right sidebar. So objective set display, sidebar, ASDF. I'm going to set my score to one, ASDF one. And now I'm going to do this. Run fill up five, up two, sand. So I'm going to put this together. And then voila, I have all that sand filled up there. It actually didn't do five to two. It fell down because sand has gravity. And so finally, let's set my score to two and let's press this button, nothing happens because my score is not one. And all you need now is a creative idea to put together and express it in the form of a map. It's really that simple. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. And if you guys have any questions in the comments, I don't know, people can help you out. I'll try to help you out and all the best. Take care.